We want to take a closer look at, at this important issue of social distancing, the practice implemented by public health officials to keep contagious diseases like coronavirus from spreading. Experts recommend people try to stay at least six feet away from each other. Here's a look at exactly how far six feet is. Well, this, of course, is aimed at trying to cut down the virus's spread, but you may be wondering why six feet. The reason is a little gross, but it's important. Experts believe the virus is mainly spread through droplets that come out of your mouth or nose. When an infected person speaks, exhales, coughs, or sneezes, the droplets travel about three to six feet before gravity pulls them to the ground. So stay six feet away from someone and you stop the spread. It's also important to try to block coughs or sneezes with a tissue or your sleeve so as not to send those droplets flying directly towards someone nearby. And what about social gatherings? CDC now recommends you avoid social gatherings of more than 10 people. That could mean cancellations of weddings, family reunions, birthday parties, even funerals. Adults who are not sick or considered to be at risk can still date, but think about an intimate dinner at home instead of going somewhere with a lot of people. For kids, one leading expert says play dates are okay, especially if they're outside in parks and involve a small number of kids. But another expert says play dates are not recommended because kids generally have more mild COVID-19 illnesses and therefore might spread the disease before anyone realizes they're sick. It is going to be difficult to determine just how much these social distancing practices are helping. That's because testing for the virus was delayed, so we'll just have to wait and see. But one thing we do know, anything that can be done to help stop the spread of coronavirus is worth it. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.